This lecture is on perception and attention, and it naturally matches up with the next lecture, which is on memory, because together, this pair of lectures tells the story of how the world gets from the outside of our heads, finds its way inside, and stays there. It'll tell the story, for instance, how suppose you were looking outside and you saw a man approaching you in front of a house. Not a picture of the scene, but the scene itself. What would happen is the light would bounce off of the house and off of the man and off of the birds, hit your retina, hit your eye, somehow make it into your brain where you recognize there's a man and there's a bird, there's birds and there's a house, and then stay there so that you could remember it a second later, a minute later, an hour later, maybe a day later, maybe a year later. And this is an extraordinary story, and it's going to turn out to be kind of complicated. So what I want to do is I want to sum up the big themes, the punchlines of these lectures that I want you to uh, attend to and keep in mind. So we're going to talk about perception in this lecture, and we'll learn that the problem perception is hard. You'll see why it's hard. And that successful perception, in order to make sense of the world, involves making educated guesses about the world. And these aren't guesses that you are explicitly say, oh, I'm guessing this, I'm guessing that but they're unconscious guesses. They're guesses that your visual system makes. Then we move to attention, and there's the obvious, which is we attend to some things and not others, but there's the really interesting, that we miss a surprising amount of what happens in the world. Then there's memory, and we'll learn there's many types of memory. We'll learn that the key to memorization is organization and understanding, and you'll learn that you can't trust some of your memories. Some of the things in your head that you're most confident of, that you most believe, probably never happened. Now, we'll talk about other things as well, but these are going to be the main themes of the following two lectures.